Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is Bridget. My husband Andrew and I run our online business. It's called Tazori. Um, you can find us on Instagram at shop Tazori. We resell um, vintage home decor, all kind of Italian French inspired. That's our vibe. And we also just share a lot of our home and tips and tricks for how to create a beautiful home. Yeah, so if you're interested in that, make sure to head over to our Instagram, check it out. But let's get into today's video. I did a video a couple months back called my top five favorite vintage finds, where I got them and how much I paid for them, because there's some curious cats out there, I know. And today we're gonna do kind of another episode of that, because since that video, I have found more beautiful things that have quickly become some of my favorites, and I wanna show you them. And I think you guys are gonna love it, so let's get into it. Before we get started, I want to let you guys know that Andrew and I created a free vintage sourcing guide for you guys, and it goes through literally all of our secrets on where and how to find the best vintage antique pieces for your home at a great price. So if you want in on that, um, head to our website, shoptozori.com, sign up for our newsletter, and we'll send it to your inbox. Uh, lots of good gems in there. Anyways, let's get started. All right, so today we're starting with this beautiful piece. If you've been around for a little while, you know mirrors are my weakness. Mirrors and lighting, both my weakness. And um, this is definitely a favorite. This is an Italian gilt antique mirror. It is super fragile um, and so beautifully made. The detail on it is absolutely insane. This one was a Facebook Marketplace find. Shout out to my mom. She found this on Facebook and sent it my way because she knew I would love it. And I was like, thank you, mom, you are. And this one was $40. I die. I mean, I don't think I have much else to say about that. It's like insanity. Also, I share these things, like I share prices with you guys and where I got them to help you to see that there are beautiful things out there for a price you have to be willing to hunt and wait and be patient, but you can get beautiful things for a low price if you really are consistent and um, out there searching. So, yay, that's number one. All right, you guys, if you saw one of our most recent shorts, uh, you saw that I found this next piece at a flea market. Um, I'm just gonna show you without further ado. <sighs> My wooden sphere. The piece I never knew I needed. You know, sometimes you are hunting for specific pieces for a long time and you come across them. This guy, I was never searching for him. He found me. Okay, not to be dramatic, but he found me. And I was like, I need you. I didn't know I needed you until I saw you and then I was like, I need you. So this one I got from a flea market that I go to regularly. Um, we actually have a video on it. It's called Golden Nugget if you're in New Jersey. Love this flea market, highly recommend going. Got this from one of our favorite French dealers there. His name is Dominique. And this one I got for $45. I love this piece because it adds like such a fun twist to your space. Like my living room right now was feeling more like I had a lot of older pieces in it and it needed something to offset that and it just adds contrast. It's a really great conversation piece. It's just, and we love shapes. Like I love just like a ball, you know? So anyways, love this one. Next up, we have this antique oil painting. It's from France, it's signed 1945. If you watched our Round Top video, you have seen this beauty before. Round Top is a huge antique market in Round Top, Texas that happens twice a year. And Andrew and I went this past spring and sourced for the shop, sourced for us, took you guys along, so make sure to check out that video. But that's where I got this beauty. I got this from Pascal Jones Antiques. I loved the woman I bought this from. She was so funny, so sweet. This was our one take home. I think this was the only thing we kept for ourselves from Round Top. So it just reminds me of that time. It's like our first trip. So I'll always keep this one. I love the colors on this piece. This one was more of a splurge for us. I got this one for $225. I do believe on splurging a bit for some things that are really special pieces, and this one was really special to me. That's that. 
I am back in our living room for the next piece. These candle sconces. Guys, if you live in a rented space, you know that you have to get creative with lighting. You can't just hardwire electrical sconces into the wall or chandeliers. So um, you really have to put outside the box. And candle sconces and also plug-in sconces are a great way to bring in lighting into your home, into your rented space. Lighting is so important and you know, recessed lighting just doesn't cut it. So you have to add more lighting. These candle sconces are so beautiful. They're gilt. Um, I don't know what kind of metal they are actually. They might be gilt toll sconces. I believe they're Italian. I got these off of Facebook Marketplace for $50. They're so beautiful and just at nighttime, if we're having dinner and we light them, it's like the coziest feeling. There's something about candlelight that like flickering glow at night is just perfection. And so big fan of candle sconces, bring them back. Last but not least, this marble table that I have in my entryway. If you guys watched our last video, you saw I used to have a small Florentine dresser here that was also in my top five. I love that piece here, but I actually needed more storage up in our bedroom. So I moved that piece in our bedroom and it works perfectly up there. And this I just feel like is even more perfect for the entryway. It's a little smaller, so you're not so afraid to open the door when you come in. It's not so crowded. The detail on this base is gorgeous. It looks like it's just like iron, but gold painted. And I mean, the feet on this are so beautiful. I have a thing for feet, not, not people's feet i mean i love baby's feet like i have a thing for baby's feet but like not in a weird way i just think they're really cute but <laughs> lord have mercy i just think that like when tables have little feet on them it's like super i love that detail but anyways this is so perfect it makes me so happy every time i walk into our apartment this was one of my most recent finds um a couple week last weekend at an estate sale and i got a whole pile of stuff mirrors this books planters all this stuff and everything together when you break it all down this was like 15 bucks it kills me this is like an all-time favorite find and I just know it will like travel with us to future homes like there will always be a spot for this I love you you guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know what was your favorite piece out of these top five. It was so hard to even choose five for this video. Like I was going around and I was like, oh my gosh, should I show this one or that one? So let me know if you guys want me to make another video like this because I have more pieces that I would really love to show you guys. Are you seeing this fly flying around right now? Oh my gosh, it's driving me crazy. Anyways. <clears throat> Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're alerted when we post new videos. Yay! Thanks for watching. It means so much to us and we're excited for the next video. See you soon.